How's it guys? Winter fishing, another great technique, which is a finesse technique for the winter time, is the Ned Rig. A lot of you guys would have heard about the Ned Rig, so um, a lot of you guys might not have heard about it. So let me run through some tips and tricks and techniques for Ned Rig fishing. Rod, reel and line setup guys, I fish the Pesca Pro Series, um, drop shot shaky head rod, very, very nice rod for Ned Rigging. So if you guys haven't got one of those, seven foot two, seven foot four, um, spinning rod, anywhere from one eighth ounce, quarter ounce, that, that's the kind of lure weight ratings. I spool 20 pound high vis yellow braid onto that. Um, also the best that you can afford there. Uh, I use a platinum, Pesca Platinum 9 weave braid. So 18 pound, 20 pound uh, high vis braid. I use the 20 pound most of the time, high vis yellow. And to that I tie the leader line, which is, more often than not, 12 pound, 12 pound abrasic. So it's a fluorocarbon leader, guys. Hook you, get yourselves hooked up with some fluorocarbon um, and you're ready to go. So this is the Vark Nedrig head. It is a tungsten Nedrig head. It means that it's a smaller profile. It's a harder, it's a harder material, it's a harder metal. Um, makes a sound as it goes on the rocks on the bottom, whereas lead is a bit more dull, but um, it is more expensive. So just whether you go the lead option or you go the tungsten option, this would be the Rolls Royce, the tungsten option. Um, that's up to you and what you what you want to do and what you feel like. It's got the weed guard on it, which helps a lot. It's a two strand weed guard, a wire weed guard, two strand. Let me try and open it up for you. There it is there. If you can get a good look at that. Two strand wire weed guard on this particular Nedrig head. Very, very nice. Guys, there are a variety of heads. Before I get into the baits, there are a variety of heads. You've got the standard um, Z-Man. This is the Power Finesse. So it's just got, you know, it's just got different hook size, bigger hook size. It comes in a different uh, green pumpkin. It comes in black, 1.6, one, 1.10 one, ounce. So have a look at that. That's the one head that they've got. Uh, you've got the small one, the Finesse Rooms. Same story, different colors. Black, green pumpkin, 1.10, one, 1.6 one, ounce. You've got the Pro Shrooms. The Pro Shrooms is quite nice, it's got a heavier gauge hook and that can be very, very important. So that's the Pro Shrooms there. Also comes in a 110 and a 116 ounce. It's got the heavier gauge hook, guys, that could be important, very, very important. Um, the more finesse type hooks, like on this one here, um, 12 pound leader max, 12 pound leader. If you start going, you know, you have to have your drag right as well. You don't want to be straightening hooks. So um, yeah, the Pro Shroom, probably going to allow you to go to 15 pound line which you might need in certain situations depending where you're fishing how big those fish are that's something for you to consider there as well and then we've got the and then it's the big boy of the bunch that's the mag shrooms so that's quite you can put a substantial bait on there this is a quarter ounce comes in a bunch of different sizes uh well weights um, you can throw some big baits on that if you if you're getting adventurous you can throw some big weights so then it's not so much a finesse technique um, it's just a, an oversized Ned Rig. Put a five or six inch uh, Senko Lunker log on the back of that. It'll do some damage. So that's something to experiment with. It's just the upsized version of the Ned Rig. Then we get more technical and smart. This is the offset Ned Rig head from Vark. This is a tungsten product. So it looks like there. So I'll show you how to rig that now. Obviously it's the EWG style, uh, offset style. Um, weedless presentation so we'll get to that as well so we'll show you the best of both worlds out of these two products here and then we'll go on to pretty much exactly the same thing the Ned Rig but the jig this comes in two sizes in a bunch of colors it's also got the weed guard there that's split open it's got the two wire strand weed guard it comes in packaging like that two in a pack so you can check those in the store Check those out in store or online, two in a pack, two sizes, one eighth and three sixteenth of an ounce. So first things first, talking about baits, this is a Z-Man Baby Goat. Comes in the packaging like that, Z-Man Baby Goat. You can, see, you can see this pack is pretty much done. This is the last one in the pack. Uh, this color is the Deal. And this is a great bait for Ned Rig. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna rig this up for you, show you how to do it. So you just wanna go straight through the middle and out, okay, and then slide it up. 
and then you pull it up beyond that wire keeper. I've come in there now closer so you can see. Just pull it up as high as you can. There we go. It's got a nice snug fit tight against that head. There's your separated two strand wire weed guard there as well. And then there's your regret there. So it's absolutely stunning. Right, there it is there, rigged and ready to go. What's going to happen guys? Elastic plastic, very buoyant. This Ned rig you're going to fish on the bottom, on the rock piles, on the hard bottoms, foundations, broken down, whatever it is, brickwork. Um, I've had a lot of success uh, up country on the Vol River with this technique and with this jig as, jig as well. Um, it's, yeah, it, it works, it works, it works really well in a lot of different places. You'll, you'll be surprised the size of fish that you can catch around the country this time of year, June, July and August on this technique. So let me pop it in the tank and show you what it's all about. There we have it guys, jumping around. So there's a tasty treat. Even when it's sitting dead still like that, it's got a bit of a wobble to it, you can see there. So even while you're dead, so-called dead sticking it, it's on the rock pile. You can see just with the natural flow, that bait is actually still moving. Very, very, very good technique. Then we have the Vark Ned Offset Jig Head. So you can see that there. Let's rig that up. Take that same bait, that uh, baby goat, in and out, up to the bend, so it sits nice and straight. You can see that hook is perfectly sized for this item. In and out, pop it through the top, and then just tuck, tuck the point away just to make it weedless. After all, that is the point of this particular jig head is to make it weedless. So this you can throw around anything. You're not going to get snagged up. So if you've got a combination of timber and rock and weed beds or grass lines, that's going to be a, a sweet technique. Let's chuck that into the tank as well and have a look at that. This is going to be slightly less buoyant than the Ned rig, just because of where the hook sits and how this rig looks. But uh, it's an added advantage nonetheless, so any bit helps. Okay, so there we, there we have it guys, it's, uh, it's a lot better than I thought in terms of the way that it's sitting vertically in the water. Um, haven't done a tank test in a while, but check there, as you move that, I mean that's straight up and down. Makes a good sound on the bottom with that hard tungsten, always wants to trend upwards off the bottom, so that's really, really nice. And uh, having that weedless presentation, you'll be able to fish that in rock piles that's got a combination of timber, brush, uh, any kind of grass or, or anything like that, you know, that weedless technique is going to get through that with no problem. So there's just another option to add to your arsenal. Fantastic presentation. And then we get to the jig version, which is the Z-Man Micro, well, the Shrooms Micro Finesse Jig. Comes in two sizes, a 1 8 ounce and a 316. Comes in a bunch of colors there. Um, this thing is outstanding. Uh, we did a series a while back, if you check out on YouTube, um, the Vol River series that we did there. Have a look at that, you'll see the fish catches that we caught on the Ned Rig and also particularly on this jig as well. Um, we called it the Vol River Killer and because we were up there, we wanted to get in with the, the twang. We called it the Vol River Killer. Okay, just thread that baby goat straight onto the hook like that, pop it out and then just push and pull above that wire keeper. Pull it above that wire keeper like that. Get that nice and straight. Okay, there is there. Okay, there's a better illustration of it there now. There's the two wire we got sitting there. There's your baby goat. There's your presentation there. Okay, that's ready to go. That's your jig version of your Ned rig. Just a way of kind of bulking up your Ned rig. Obviously having that skirt. Um, without having to go to kind of like, you know, a bigger, like finesse jig or something like that. So this is, let's call this a, like a super finesse jig type style. Okay, so there you have it. You can see, notice immediately there's some air bubbles that are trapped in that skirt. Those will get released. Let's just pop it. 
there goes a couple of bubbles. So that skirt flares out. Still got your vertical presentation there. You've got your weed guard protection there as well with the, the wire weed guard, the two strands. It just seem, see all those air bubbles as well that are catching the light. So very, very nice Ned rig option. You move it, the, the skirt pulls together and then it, see how it drops apart like that. Very, very, very nice. I'm sure we can all agree on that. So Z-Man shrooms micro finesse jig with a z-man baby goat on the back so yeah chaps that's the basic um, story regarding the ned rigs and a couple of different pre presentations and and tips and tricks that i use obviously there's a whole bunch of colors that you can choose from depending on your water clarities so I'd, you know generally we would use our darker colors in the darker water dirtier water and then your, your more natural watermelon type colors in the clean water uh, the z-man baby goat certainly is one of the baits that I prefer, although the baits I'm going to show you now as well are very, very tried and tested. The good old Finesse TRD. This is the 2.75 inch. This is the baby one. This is where the trend all started. There it is there. This is PB&J, peanut butter and jelly color. That's for your, your smallest hook presentation. You get the four inch, which is the big TRD, which is a size up from this. That'll work, work really well. You can check out all the colors affordable. I think they're 98 Rand a pack, so you can check those out at Bass Warehouse in the store and online. Baby goats, that this is the one that I've just shown you. This is the deal color. So um, that to me has got a lot of appeal. Um, comes in a bunch of different colors. So you can either match, if you're using the jig, you can either match your skirt or you can contrast it, you know? You go with like a light candy craw jig with the black, blue, or something like that, and vice versa. So that's something also you can mix and match with. If you know, you know, if it slows down and you're not getting bites, you can mix things up. You've got the flexibility to do that. And then also very, very cool, um, the TRD Craws. It's a craw profile. This is the trailer that I think we had at the Vol River um, on this jig. So we had, I think we're throwing the black, blue um, with one of these suckers on it, and that thing was absolute killer. So it's very realistic crawl top bait. Let's try and get a bit of shot of that. Very realistic crawl presentation for your Ned Rigs, uh, for the back of your sort of Ned Rig jig or your, your Shrooms Micro Finesse jig. Uh, that's gonna stand up just like that uh, goat, little baby goat was standing up. That little crawl is gonna do exactly the same thing. So it is an absolutely enticing little morsel for the winter time performs really well it catches fish year round but winter time now june july and august is really uh, when these things come into their own um, all the way through until you know when those fish are, are obviously it's not ideal but if you are bed fishing uh, lost corp in places like this places like that clean water where you can sight fish when the fish are moving up to spawn there again, it's, it's up to you if you want to fish for those fish or not. That's um, a bit of a touchy subject. But if you do go out and you want to target those fish, we've had tremendous, tremendous success um, catching sight fishing bass with a Ned Rig with these trailers on the back.